what is it, and what does this name mean? Co-creator Court Bullock joins us now to talk about the game and how you could check it out this weekend. All right, let's start at the top. How did you invent this game? Uh, you know, it's one of those things we go to a lot of tailgates, Iowa, Iowa State, um, and kind of came to me. Got I got tired of seeing cornhole <laughs> and ladders. And stuff yeah, that's like why that. I scoured the internet for something out there and really couldn't find anything, so started building some prototypes, and next thing you know, I'm selling them online. Now, you and your co-creator played hockey together, right? Yeah. Yep. So you have a long history in hockey and wanted to put that in the game as well. Very much so. So anytime I think you can get a stick of hockey players in a social setting, I think it's a win <laughs> <laughs> Okay, so we, we've got some video of the game playing right yep. now, so describe uh, how you play this game. So in hockey, a saucer pass is when you, you pass a puck mm -hmm. so it floats and flies in the air, like kind of like frisbee or flying saucer. Uh, so what we did, kind of like a beanbag toss game where you got two boards uh, 20 feet apart or so, and you score one point by getting into the bigger net or three points in that middle smaller net. Okay, so I see this game going over well in Canada, and you know a little bit about that. You grew up in Canada, right? Uh, I, yep, I was born in Canada, um, so that's... That's kind of better has from. <laughs> is it selling? It's, it's doing yeah. great, yeah. It, uh, not in Canada so much right now, just uh, because we're kind of based out of the States right now. But uh, I think eventually down the line, it'll start growing big up there. So, yeah, this is taking off. You're selling online yep. right now? Yep. And you have a plant where this is being manufactured. Yep. My, uh, my parents uh, who are with me today, they, uh, they manufacture them out in Fort Wayne, Indiana. And you have so your parents kind of, doing your work for you. Exactly. They do all the dirty work. <laughs> and I just do the social media, the glamorous side of it, and they do all the actual grinding and making it happen. So, uh, they you've assigned great. your parents with chores. Yes. <laughs> 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 the the reverse, right, exactly. So, no, it's been, it's been great. So, this weekend, uh, you're having a tournament, the first tournament. Yep, and first tournament. Us a that's, about that. uh, it's at Overtime Beer House. It starts at 1. Um, it's for Leukemia and Lymphoma Society, all the proceeds, um, $20 for a team. Uh, we're hoping to have a good turnout and be a lot of fun, depending on the weather, of course. What, what's it like being a, an entrepreneur like this? Is it a little bit more difficult than you thought? Uh, it's, you know, it's really been a lot of fun. I have a full-time job, you know, I'm in uh, medical sales here in Des Moines. Mm -hmm. So it, it's been it's been a lot of fun on the side, and having the family involved, is, it's been really cool. Developing your own product, is it's, that something you would recommend to other people? I, absolutely, if you've got an idea and a dream out there, I mean, it's it's really neat to see your, your idea and take shape and people actually enjoying it. So. Did you ever anticipate this when you, uh, you started building these in your garage, yeah. right? Yeah, I started prototyping them and I finally made a prototype that was good enough I could pitch my dad on uh, actually making it. He thought I was crazy at first and uh, <laughs> uh, it, it's, it's really been cool. It's cool to see. Where can you buy your game? Uh, SauceToss.com. Um, and that's all we're doing right now online, yeah. but we've had a lot of interest from retail, but we're just not there yet. Oh, interesting. Good for you. Congratulations. Yes, you. All right. Well, let's look again at the uh, tournament taking place this weekend. Again, this is a benefit for Leukemia and Lymphoma Society. Uh, it's the first ever sauce toss tournament. Uh, it's at Overtime Beer House in Irvindale. It starts at 1 o'clock. You can find more details on the tournament and the game at www.saucetoss.com. Dot com. Thanks for being with us today. Thanks. Appreciate it. And we'll be right back with a look at your full forecast. With some heavier amounts of rain. I know that we need that rainfall right now. So many things going on with Drake relays, uh, uh, the uh, sauce toss, everything else that's happening. I'll tell you what, it is going to be a very, very busy weekend. And we'll run between and them. global hockey players invented this new game to help fight leukemia and lymphoma. Global hockey players showcased a new twist on tailgating. It just might be the next big thing. Take a look. They held the first ever Sauce Toss tournament for the Leukemia and Lymphoma Society. More than 50 people came out to play at the Overtime Beer House in Urbandale. And instead of a bean bag toss, they hit hockey pucks into nets. It's a cause that hits close to home for one of the creators. Brad's nephew, Will, got diagnosed with leukemia when he was really young and uh... He, he overcame it. He did some 12,000 odd days of chemotherapy. So it's a, it's a cause that's really close to our hearts. Looks like a lot of fun. Well, the money raised will go towards leukemia and lymphoma research. The Drake Relays are coming to a